Now, a command center to coordinate the evacuation of international staff based in Sudan has been set up by the government. The Nairobi based center will host a special interagency facilitation and emergency committee instant to be coordinated by the Ministry of Foreign, uh, Foreign and Di Diaspora Affairs. At the same time, Kenya and the Canadian government are collaborating to evacuate citizens of both countries caught up in the Sudan crisis. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says there are about 3,000 Kenyans in Sudan. On Twitter, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora says the move has been necessitated by the worsening situation in Sudan. Kenyans stranded in Sudan and in need of a vocation have been advised to get in touch with the Kenyan embassy in Khartoum or text or WhatsApp their names, passport numbers and location to the numbers plus 24-990-019-4854 or plus 254-114-757-002. Over the weekend, several countries began evacuating their citizens. On Saturday, a total of 150 diplomats and their families were evacuated. They were mostly citizens of Gulf countries as well as Egypt, Pakistan and Canada. On Sunday, American nationals and British diplomats and their families were airlifted. However, reports of collapsed internet connectivity have raised fears of disruption of the evacuation process for those trapped in Khartoum and the neighboring cities. The international pressure on military leaders to honor declared ceasefires to allow the passage of thousands of civilians fleeing and the much-needed aid continues. Humanitarian organizations are reporting a paralyzed healthcare system in Sudan. Dozens of hospitals were affected following days of unrelenting violence. Those in operation, especially around the capital city of Khartoum, are overwhelmed. Fighting started on 15th April. Since then, about 400 people have been killed and 3,500 wounded. For Sunday Express, I'm Zainab Said.